Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. The main change today were our calmer winds, and it certainly was a nice change. We saw still a lot of sunshine and temperatures running just a little bit warmer. Satellite and radar very quiet for us. As I mentioned yesterday, we have high pressure that's been moving in. That's causing our calm conditions, also allowing us to warm up, which will continue into tomorrow. Even though winds do have a little bit of a breeze going at times, again, nothing compared to what we were dealing with yesterday. In fact, our strongest sustained wind is now 12 miles miles per hour here in Roanoke, the rest of us anywhere between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. A live look now to our sky cam overlooking downtown Roanoke. Things are quiet. We are still seeing those clear skies, which will continue as we head into the overnight, which does mean another cold night for us, but not as cold as we started our day off today. So we're mostly looking at 40s across the region here in Roanoke, along with Smith Mountain Lake, 48 degrees. That's also the case for Danville, whereas you're still holding on to the lower 50s in areas like South Boston and Martinsville. Temperatures here are going to be dropping, I would say, into the lower 40s by around 8, 9 p.m. And then we are into the upper 30s right around 10 p.m. So we are going to be chilly out there. Of course, you still don't want to forget that jacket. By tomorrow morning, we are waking up to lows in the 20s rather than the teens and 20s like we saw this morning. So especially those areas west of the parkway where you were a little bit colder, this is going to be a little bit of a nice change. But either way, definitely still staying bundled up tomorrow, 28 degrees in Alta Vista along with Blacksburg right at freezing in Floyd's, Floyd and Hillsville. As you're heading out the door in the morning, you want those heated seats going. Defroster, definitely a possibility. As for the wipers, you don't have to worry about that. We are going to be staying dry for at least tomorrow. As we go throughout the day, notice our temperatures are going to be running even warmer, reaching into the 60s across much of the region later in the afternoon. Not only that, but seeing more sun. However, we are going to bring in our next frontal boundary heading into the overnight hours tomorrow night and into your Tuesday. We're going to start to see more cloud cover returning as we bring in yet another round of rain. So we're mostly looking at 60s. In fact, 68 in Danville along with South Boston inching very close to the 70s where you're whereas you're holding on to the upper 50s back towards Floyd at 58 degrees. However, then we head throughout the next few days that high pressure system moving off to our east or bring in that low pressure system. So this is just going to be the first round of rain that we'll be tracking heading into Tuesday. So just take a look at this seven day forecast. We are going to be staying busy Monday quiet. We if you have time to get outside, enjoy the warm weather. Absolutely do it. Now our temperatures stay in the 60s through about Wednesday, but from there we'll see those temperatures dropping. Rain chances looking pretty good as we go throughout the week. If you don't see any rain Tuesday, still possible later in the week. Temperatures are going to be reaching into the mid 40s, though, by next weekend, finally drying out as well.